Context is a three-part system. You create, consume, and provide context. To start, we have to create it. We create it using the new create context function. And just like that, we've created a context. We've created a name context. Uh, we can name this whatever we want, really. This could be person context, organization context, whatever makes sense to you. And you can have multiple contexts. So we could create all of those. Now we have contexts for name, person, and organization. Let's delete those. When we create a new context, we can provide a default value. Let's say for our system, the default name is guest. Now, as we work with context, we can have some assurances that we won't have a name context that doesn't have a default value. Now, as with other React APIs, if you want, you can import these as named imports using comma. Whichever style fits your fancy is totally acceptable. Uh, most of the docs at this point are you calling it through React. So in order to create a context, we assign it to a variable called createContext and give an optional default value. 